I think President Obama should write another book, and he should call it The Audacity of Treachery, The Audacity of Treason, something like that. Anyway, uh, this man is not stupid, so I don't think he believes what he's saying, that the Supreme Court has no business in overturning a law that the legislature has passed. First off, he, oh, he also says the law was passed overwhelmingly. Well, not really, okay? Uh, it, was, it was passed along party lines only and, because he did a lot of arm twisting. Now, the president's job is to uphold the Constitution. Right now, he is turning it upside down, saying that the Supreme Court has no right to overturn a law that Congress passed. The Supreme Court's job, the Supreme Court's main purpose, according to the Constitution, the reason it was formed is to make sure that any and all laws that are passed by the legislative body, by Congress, are constitutional. That is what they are, uh, are looking at now, whether or not Hopefully, uh, truthfully, I don't know about those four, especially those two, Ginsburg and, uh, what's her face, Sotomayor, uh, oh, the three, uh, what's her face, uh, from New York, I forget her name at the moment, but it's not important. Uh, they are definitely going to vote uh, to, keep, to keep Obamacare no matter what, because they are simply partisan politicians. They are not worthy to wear the robes of, of a Supreme Court judge. However, that's something for another time. Right now, I want to, again, stress that President Obama swore to uphold the Constitution. Everything he has been doing for a long time now has been going against the Constitution. He is not only trampling the, uh, the Constitution, ripping it to shreds, he is ignoring it uh, wherever he can, uh, except when it suits his purposes, then he mentions it, but he twists it around. You know, as I said, he's turning it upside down to say that the justices can't do something that they were actually meant to do. Uh, I don't know what, what to say except that this man sh has to be voted out of office come November. We cannot have this guy in for a second term. Can you imagine if he were to replace some of the older retiring judge on, judges on the Supreme Court, like uh, Antonin Scalia? Or so? Oh, my God, please. We cannot have a court full of Sotomayors and Ginsburgs and whatever the hell uh, Fatso's name is. Uh, we can't have those pe people like that on the Supreme Court. It will r destroy our country. Obama has put us on a path to destruction. He's got to be voted out of office. The American people were stupid enough to elect a Chicago politician, a Chicago career politician. That's about as, as corrupt as you can get. And we put him in the White House. Not we. I didn't vote for him. I knew what he, where he was coming from. It was not only because he was a Chicago politician, a product of the machine up there, but also because... He, was, he had socialist policies. I could see it. I don't know how most of the American public could not see that this man was a socialist. If they couldn't see it before, they should have at least known about it when, after he spoke to Joe the Plumber. When Joe the Plumber asked him, uh, you know, asked him a question and Obama responded that he wanted to redistribute his wealth a little bit to those who didn't have it. That's a socialist uh, ideal. Okay, We don't need socialism in the United States. It has destroyed Europe. It is destroying Europe. It has destroyed every country it uh, has ever, ever been in. Few countries are, are still getting by, but you know, sooner or later, the piper has to be paid. The bills are going to come due, and all they can do is take more and more money from people's pockets to take care of them. Why don't they just let them keep the money, let them take care of themselves? Okay, that's how it was for the longest time here in the United States. That's how it should be. I mean, the government should protect those, of course, who who cannot afford to protect themselves, who are incapable of protecting themselves, who cannot take care of themselves. But it, we should not have 49% or 48% of people in the country on the government dole. We've got to get rid of Obama. We've got to vote him out of office. Please, America, come to your senses.